Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, what is happening? Now in today's video, I'm going to be doing a full brightness test review for all of my ultra sabers. However, I do want to say three quick things. First of all, if you have no idea what ultra sabers even is, mate, that is totally fine. I have done a full in-depth review of ultra sabers. There'll be a link in the description. It'll be pinned in the comment section. It'll pop up somewhere. Secondly, if you already know how amazing Ultra Sabers are and you're in the market of a brand new Saber, if you use the code SEMSNERD, you will get 10% off. Cause I love you. And lastly, ladies and gentlemen, about a month or so ago, I done a $75 mystery box opening. Again, there'll be a link in the description if you want to check it out. But I said in that video, if it gets 200 likes, I will buy the $200 mystery box Saber, do an unboxing and give it away to one of you amazing subscribers. And yeah, you amazing people blasted out like nearly 400 likes in about two weeks. So yeah. Basically what I'm trying to say ladies and gentlemen, if you want a chance to win the $200 Mystery Box Saber, I will be buying it next month. That is April 2020. Make sure you do smash that subscribe button and that stupid looking bell so you do not miss the chance for the $200 giveaway. Now with all that nonsense said and done, let's crack on with today's video. So yeah, like I said, it is a full brightness test. I've actually been asked multiple times on my channel to make this video or do something brightness test related because a few people don't know like the difference between how bright it is outside versus inside versus nighttime and yeah that is what today's video is going to be. So I'm going to go through all of my four custom made lightsabers from Ultra Sabers. I'm going to start in my bedroom. I've currently got blackout blinds and my studio light which is extremely bright. I mean this light, what you're seeing now, that is the only light source lighting me up right now. But yeah, I'm going to start in this room, then I'm going to show you what it looks like from outside. Now, when I film it outside, surprisingly or not, you're never going to believe this, it's actually sunny, mate. It's sunny in England. There is legitimately not a cloud in the sky, mate. So you could not ask for a better day. But it's going to be 10 a.m. that I film outside, and then I'm going to show you again straight after at 10 p.m. It'll be completely dark, and yeah you will see the difference. Right, so I'm starting the video with the Archon V2. Now, this is currently running Tri Councillor Green, and yeah, I'm gonna show you how bright it is. Remember, blackout blinds, studio light, that is all. That is how bright it is. Like I said, the light in my room is very, very bright, mate. That is how bright it is, in case you're wondering. And yeah, now we're gonna go outside, daytime and nighttime. Next, we're going to be going with the Flamberge. This is running Tri Blazing Red. Once again, that is the bedroom with my studio light. Sticking with Tri Blazing Red once again, this is the Manticore. And last but definitely not least, this is the Apprentice V4 in Violet Amethyst. Which I absolutely love so much. This is definitely still one of my favourite savers. But this colour, I would say, is the hardest to show on camera. It is very purple. I don't know what it's looking like right now, because I can't see the camera. But I know from like pictures and stuff that it doesn't always show up as purple. Sometimes it shows up as blue, but it is very much purple, mate. You will see outside, that is where the Violet Amethyst is the worst. However, at night time, uh, just you wait, mate.
And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope all you amazing subscribers are using the discount code if you do want a chance to win the $200 Mystery Box Sabre. Make sure you subscribe, because yeah, like I said, next month that video will be done, mate, and I will be giving it away to one of you amazing people. Lastly, if there's any Ultra Sabre video that you want me to cover, please let me know in the comment section below, or if there's a certain Sabre you want me to buy and review, yeah, let me know in the comment section below. As always, thank you so much for watching. May the force be with you, and I will see you all in the next one. <laughs>